I think organic lifestyle is the future. We decided to go organic because there was a demand for it. It's a great lifestyle, a great way to raise kids and raise healthy food. USDA regulations define a handler as an operation who processes, packages, or sells organic products. The National Organic Standards require certified handlers to prevent co-mingling of organic and non-organic ingredients or products. Handlers must also prevent organic products from being contaminated by any prohibited material. The majority of Certified processor handlers are split operations and they do organic versions and non-organic versions. Organic certification requires maintaining organic integrity from the delivery of ingredients to the final packaging and distribution of the product. When sourcing ingredients, an operation must ensure ingredients are certified to USDA organic regulations. Facilities should have clear steps to designate how an organic product is identified upon arrival and where the organic product is stored. We uh, have a very rigorous supplier approval and maintenance program that we go through to approve the organic suppliers before we ever see their product that they are following the NOP organic regulations, that they will be properly labeling all of the organic products when they come in so that at our receiving door all of our personnel can tell right off the bat that this is an organic product versus a uh, conventional version. Organic ingredients must be stored in a manner that prevents co-mingling with non-organic ingredients. Clear labeling of organic ingredients and careful handling procedures can decrease the risk of accidental co-mingling. So we have our organic bay right here, um, is where we try to keep all our organic coffee. And when it's not getting roasted, that's where it sits. And right here is where we have our, store our empty organic buckets. We put them in yellow bins so they're easily identified and basically really hard to misplace. We also have yellow labels on top. So here's all our organic coffee that's roasted. They're right next to the non-organic coffee, but they're still separated by the buckets and showing that they're organic and non-organic because of the yellow versus the gray. Since our ingredients are uh, in enclosed containers, um, we don't have them in a dedicated area, but because everything is in the sealed non-permeable containers, it's very easy to avoid the potential for commingling. Clear labeling of organic ingredients and careful handling procedures can decrease the risk of accidental commingling of organic and non-organic products. Given that we run both conventional and organic, we set our scheduling each day to run our organic blends first. So that the only raw materials we have out on the floor when we're running a certified organic blend are those organic raw materials. We do those runs and then we'll start our conventional runs. Proper cleaning of shared equipment is important to ensure organic integrity is maintained. Documentation of cleaning or purge steps allows the organic inspector to confirm you have implemented steps to prevent commingling of organic and non-organic versions of a product. So if an operation is using shared equipment to process both organic and non-organic products. One method of cleaning that equipment would be a purge. We would want to know what they're doing with that purged material. Is it being diverted or is it being discarded? And we would definitely want to see records that could verify where that purge material is going. Adequate pest management is also essential to prevent products from becoming exposed to a prohibited pesticide. Organic handlers follow a multi-level approach when dealing with pests in handling facilities. The first level of control is prevention of the problem, followed by the use of mechanical and physical controls. For pest control here, we have separate hu humane traps located throughout the building as well as on the perimeter of the building outside. We also keep it very clean, especially the floors, as well as keeping burlap bags of coffee or anything that is going to be touching the ground raised up. If preventative methods are insufficient, handlers may use materials on the national list of allowed and prohibited substances located within organic regulations. All pest control materials must be added to your organic system plan and be approved by your certifier prior to use.
We do use a company. They come in and they do your standard in-plant um, rodent traps. They do the flying pest light traps. Um, that's really our, our biggest pest. And then outside the building, they do have, again, the bait rodent stations. Because we are a partially organic plant, we don't have any kind of pesticide within the facility. Use of non-compliant pest management inputs is acceptable for use inside and around the outside perimeter of buildings, provided there is no risk of contaminating organic products. At each step of the process, record keeping helps an operation demonstrate compliance, track flow of organic product, and provide evidence that a product's organic integrity has been maintained. Organic handlers must keep adequate records of all activities involving organic handling. This audit trail of records provides a traceability of your organic product back to the source of ingredients and forward to the distribution of the organic product into the marketplace. Record keeping becomes a very important part of your daily process and that's how the certifier is going to be able to verify that the commingling and contamination prevention steps you put in are being properly implemented. We want to be able to look at the whole records for one production run following that ingredient that came in that went all the way through the end of it and look at how everything was recorded. Um, the certification process I have found to be very straightforward as well as it's always it's always easy to get help. It's a very growing industry and we foresee that it will continue to grow and we'll continue to have new customers, new products um, that will develop to roll out in an organic version. For more information about handler certification and standards, please visit these websites.